My journey into photography was kind of a, an interesting one. I came to Whistler in England and at the time I wasn't a photographer, I just came over to spend the winter here and have some fun. On my way over here I bought a camera, a second hand camera on eBay and I just wanted to learn to take photos so I could send things back home and show all my friends. Before I knew it, local magazines wanted to use the photos and when I saw those photos in print, that was when I knew that I wanted to be a photographer. I worked for Skia magazine here in Canada for a long time, but my photos have been in almost every major ski magazine around the world. Whistler is an amazing place to practice our photography because we have such a diverse range of subjects that we can work with. Obviously we have the amazing mountain landscape here, but the village itself is really interesting as well. The people that wander through it, the surrounding forests, the rivers, there's just so much for us to work with, so it's a really fun place to learn about photography. And what's great about the course here is that we provide students with some really great photography gear right from the start. So there isn't that barrier to entry that some people find when they want to learn about photography. You don't have to shell out thousands of dollars on equipment just to start learning the basics. My hope is that people come away from this course with even just a small amount of compassion that I have for photography. We have so many incredible photography opportunities here, so if we can teach people the basics and then put that into action and inspire a passion that lasts for many more years and that's really what I want people to take away from this.